Yeah, hi, this is Glenn with Safeway Electric, and we're in Corona today, and we're at a customer's house. Uh, they're reporting uh, flickering lights uh, inside the home. And what we're looking at here today is we're looking at a 100 amp semi-flush service panel. It's the uh, Challenger brand. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll pull off this dead front cover and do an inspection uh, behind here and see what's going on on the inside. We can see that this panel is fully loaded with circuit breakers. So I'm expecting some heat damage maybe on the other side to the uh, bus bars and to the circuit breakers and to the insulator. So why don't we go ahead and pull this cover off and take a look inside. Okay, so what we're looking at here is we're looking inside the panel now, and this is the 100 amp main breaker that's fixed in this location. And uh, if you look back in here, you'll see the bus bars is the shiny metal, and then around the bus bars is that black plastic insulator. And as you look back here, you can see that that insulator is actually uh, melted down and pieces of the plastic has broken away. And so anyway, as you come down the panel, you'll see that the breakers, there are smaller amp breakers down here. And there's really not much damage that we can see to the insulator and the bus bars as we come down. Okay, so we'll take a nice look at that. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll start coming back up again, looking really good. And then we know we're gonna be coming up to the 100 amp main breaker again. And then we know heat goes to the top. And the electrician that installed this here breaker, he installed a 60 amp breaker right on top of the 50 amp breaker. And there's already enough heat going through the 100 amp breaker. So now we've got 60 amp breaker on top of that, really putting a lot of heat in this area. And if you look back in here, this is where all the heat damage is. And if you come up a little bit higher, they put a little 15 amp breaker in between the 60 amp and then another two pole 50 amp breaker. And there's more damage up in here we can see too. So this is heat damage is probably where the uh, flickering from the lights is coming from uh, somewhere in here. And uh, when we uh, put this panel together, we'll be sure to separate the, uh, the bigger breakers and we'll bring them down low below the uh, 100 amp breaker and just give this panel some breathing room so there won't be no more overheating.